I had a rather interesting question from a student who wanted to know if it is a good idea to drink orange juice after eating a BLT sandwich. That question was triggered by having read that vitamin C reduces the risk of formation of nitrosamines from the nitrite used as an additive in bacon. Both nitrosamines and nitrites are classified as probably carcinogenic to humans by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. <clears throat> nitrites have long been a part of the human food supply, originally as an accidental additive. As early as 6000 BCE, the salting of meat was used in China as a method of preservation. Salt draws moisture out of the meat and out of any bacteria that are present in the meat, and bacteria can cause spoilage, but they cannot survive without water. Sometimes the salt happened to contain naturally occurring nitrates that had an added benefit. Meat cured with such salt developed an appealing pink color that made it look fresh. Why this happens would not be discovered until the 20th century. Now we know that in the meat, nitrate is converted first to nitrite, which is then converted to nitric oxide. This reacts with the muscle pigment myoglobin to form pink nitroso myoglobin. But that isn't all that nitric oxide does. It can react with naturally occurring amines in food, as well as in our body, to form the problematic nitrosamines. Sometime in the 17th century, it was realized that a naturally occurring mineral known as saltpeter, actually a mixture of potassium and sodium nitrates, was especially useful not only in producing a pink color in meat, but also in improving its flavor. Saltpeter looks like salt, so someone probably tried it as a curing agent and noted the benefits. Besides improved color and flavor, the meat lasted longer and reduced the chance of someone becoming sick from eating cured meats, such as sausages. <clears throat> that sickness, which could result in death, was known as botulism, from the Latin word botulus for sausage. We now know that spores of the bacterium botulinum clostridium are present in meat and under anaerobic conditions, as in the interior of a sausage, can germinate into bacteria that produce a deadly toxin known as botulin. While the spores resist heat, the toxin is destroyed above 70 Celsius, but that temperature may not be reached in the interior of cooked cured meats. Once it was discovered that the active preservative was actually nitrite, produced in the food from nitrate by bacterial action, sodium nitrite <clears throat> became a commonly used food additive since less nitrite than nitrate was required. <clears throat> All was fine until the 1950s when it was discovered that nitrites can produce nitrosamines. <clears throat> Consumer groups clamored for the removal of nitrites as food additives, but the fact is that about 80% of the nitrite in our body comes from vegetables that have naturally occurring nitrates. <clears throat> The bacon in a BLT sandwich is indeed preserved with nitrites, although some argue that this is not necessary because bacon is cooked at a temperature that is high enough to destroy botulin. But producers don't want to take any chances, so nitrite is added. However, the amount of nitrite in the bacon in the sandwich will make a very small contribution to our nitrite intake. Lettuce contains naturally occurring nitrates so it is probably a bigger source of nitrites than the bacon. Still, the vitamin C in orange juice does interfere with the conversion of nitrite to nitrosamines, so not a bad idea to wash down that BLT with it. You can also double up on the tomato, another source of vitamin C. Or better yet, just leave out the B. That for today is our cup of joe.